skiers, it's Emily from SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2024 ski test. In front of me, I have the Liberty Genesis 101. Uh, this is the same build and shape that we got with last year's model, which is great news. And we just get new graphics, which personally, I'm a big fan of the graphics on these skis. So uh, that's a plus. And this version kind of splits the difference between the 96 and the 106. So middle of the road, still versatile enough to perform on piste, but has that ideal waist width for off-piste performance. And it's just a really fun, wider bodied, all mountain free ride ski that provides really great stability and dampness without sacrificing agility. And like I said, has a really versatile shape. So all in all, just a really well-rounded ski for anyone who's looking to take on the whole mountain and have that touch of free ride performance as well. For construction, we have Liberty's VMT 1.0 core, which uses three different types of wood. So we get bamboo, polonia, and poplar in the mix. And in addition to that, we get a vertical metal strut that runs down the length of the ski from tip to tail. And this goes a long way in boosting power and stability. And then the mix of wood is really great for maneuverability and responsiveness and it just works really well together to give you that higher level of performance without it being overly demanding. Um, and then in addition we also get carbon stringers which as we know stiffen the ski to a really nice degree and also the use of just the vertical metal strut, the wood and the carbon it really uh, saves on weight in the end and still gives you a really nice level of power and strength. And we get, for sidewalls, we get poured polyurethane sidewalls, which are really durable and provide great uh, edge grip and control underfoot. So that's it for construction. For shape, we get a rocker camber, rocker profile. So as you can see, we get positive camber and then more rocker in the tip than in the tail, but you might be deceived. It almost looks like it is twin tip, but um, we do get a little bit less in the tail and that's great for um, just easy steering with still a nice level of precision and control. So looking at it lengthwise, you can see the dramatic amount of rocker here in the tip. And then we also get really a really rounded shape in the tips and the tail, which is great for smooth turn initiation and just overall maneuverability. And then in the tail, like I said, still get a good amount of rocker, but it is not um, symmetrical, but still gives you a really fun shape for um, all mountain free ride performance. And this length is, let's see, the one fit 65, and it generates a 15 meter turn radius. So right smack dab in the middle, uh, really just allows the skier to determine what kind of turn shape and style they wanna make at different speeds. So when you're going a little bit slower and you want to be quicker underfoot, they definitely respond really well to that and they don't feel hooky or grabby. And then opening up and making the longer, wider turns, given the shape and just the profile, they are really smooth and like to, to do that as well. And it feels really predictable and intuitive. Like I said, 101 millimeters underfoot, which is just a really ideal waist width, can handle soft, deeper snow but then it's also not the widest one out there, so you can still perform well on piste. So any free ride enthusiasts, um, I would say intermediate to advanced level skiers who want just a really fun, playful, wider bodied ski that isn't too demanding, but also isn't too playful. It's just kind of right in the middle and takes all qualities and blends it together really nicely. So to learn more about the Liberty Genesis 101, head on over to SkiEssentials.com and we'll catch you on the hill.